We are back for draft number two of the Zendikar Rising Early Access event. Thank you, Wotzi, again for the account to be able to do this. Come on, last player. Cinder Plaza, Spikefield Hazard. I feel like Nahiri's Binding is the strongest card in this pack. I'm really not sure on this one. Like, none of these games that we played in that set felt like they could grind long enough um, for that one to be relevant. So I think I just want the Binding. Um, it's a solid, solid pacifier. Um, maybe it's this one. This card's pretty good, right? Nah, let's just take the solid removal spell. There's some red cards that someone else can fight over. There's really not... Anything that looks super interesting here, so we'll just take the, the binding. Uh, it's a green white land. We have an acquisitions expert, so enters the battlefield. Target opponent reveals a number of cards from their hand equal to the number of creatures in your party. You choose one of those cards, and that player discards it, so you're always getting a discard out of this one. Um, so this card's nice. Um, it's a rogue. Um, what else have we got? This card was super good when we played against it in the last draft. Um, just being able to cast just wizards and just play like a normal game um, and then just start pinging things is great um, yeah I think I'm into this rock, sl rock slide sorcerer I think it's a, a really strong card um, let's go with that one doesn't take many wizards for that one to be for that one to be good <clears throat> And we have a red white land, we have another sorcerer. Well, I'm pretty sure that if you double up on those, that's exactly what we're supposed to do. And then we just need to pick up any single wizard that we can possibly find. These cards are going to be great. Um, but yeah, we need to pick up this other copy um, and just kind of go in on that, I think. Uh, Bloodchief's Thirst is a very good card. Um, Deadly Alliance is another good removal spell. Um, but there's a Fisher Wizard. Um... I feel like we're just supposed to go in on the wizards. Like, that seems... Seems like a strong thing to be doing. Obviously, there's two really good black removal spells, but there's also other strong black cards. I think we just want to cut the red. Obviously, taking two strong red cards, we did pass a strong black card um, in the Vanquish. So, hopefully, that's um, passed that signal on, and we can, we can just um, sit on these wizards and pick up as many of those as possible. Whenever a creature you control with a counter on it dies, draw a card, sacrifice another creature for a counter on it. That seems fine. Um, subtle strikes are reprint. Enters the battlefield. Return up to one other target creature to its owner's hand. It's a wizard. I feel like we just want to be picking all the wizards. Um, this card seems pretty good in tempo as well. Um, you can return your own creature as well. So that seems interesting. I think that's, that's a nice pickup. And here's another really good wizard. Um, so you can kick it to return an instant or sorcery from your graveyard to your hand. Great card. Superb. Um, the blacks kind of died away as well, so definitely no white. So I think I think blue red's probably probably a good safe bet based on um, the colors that have been coming through these packs. So let's see. Let's see if we get any anything more kind of pushes in one direction or another from here. Oh, 
lady. We have another one of these. This card seems seems good. Look at the top X cards of your library where X is three plus the number of creature creatures in your party. Put three of those cards in your hand and the rest in the bottom in any order. So it's just a draw three. That card seems okay, but I think we do do just want to keep picking up these wizards. Um, all these ones with kicker just means that we're not going to have issues with flooding out, or shouldn't do, anyway. Um, not a big fan of this one. Um, not giving any toughness is is rough. Um, I think I'm just going to pick up this Living Tempest. It's just a, a solid, solid top end card. Big flyer, help us finish out, finish a game. I might end up cutting it, but certainly happy with the the kind of engine we've got going on here. Um, we'd like something else, Winner, Wizard Synergy. Uh, it would be nice to be able to pick up another another couple of these um, Fisher Wizards, and then I guess some kind of removal spell that's an instant or sorcery, just so we can kind of make the most of make the most of these. Um, Spike Field Hazard is definitely a card I'm now super interested in, whereas I wasn't the first time round. Um, it's obviously a land as well, so you've got that flexibility with it. But the ability to return it with the Royal Mage and trigger our Rock Slide Sorcerer with it is is big game. So I just imagine if this is actually if I've got two Rock Slide Sorcerers out, this is just a deal three. Um, for one mana, um, and then it exiles it as well. So it seems seems great. <clears throat> um, I don't think we're playing any of these cards, so I'm going to take the land just in case we end up needing to play play it. Um, it's obviously green white, so um, negate seems fine. Might not play the negate, but. Interest any of these? I don't think. No, let's just take one on for the board. Okay, we have a, a red rare. Um, four or three. If it was kicked, it enters with an additional plus one plus one counter on it. At the beginning of your end step, if it doesn't have a counter on it, return it to its owner's hand. Um, when you ever cast an instant or sorcery or wizard, it gains flying till end of turn, and it's a land. This card seems great. Uh, that card seems great. Just a four two, a, a four mana three two flyer um, that potentially has upside. Um, Chilling traps actually quite good in the wizard's archetype as well. Um, I think I'm still supposed to go with a Shatter Skull Charger. I mean, it is just a 5-mana, essentially a 5-mana five 5-4 five Trample Haste. Um, that card's that card is a very good card um, to do that. Um, actually, no, I'm going to go with the Wizard. I'm going to stick to my guns and just go with the Wizard. I think that um, having the flexibility of a land spell is probably higher as well, so... I'm gonna change my mind at the last second there, but I think it I think it's correct to, to take that one. Um, we've got Maddening Cacophony, ca um, which is the mill card. Um, there's no need for us to be doing that. Um, Bubble Snare is a nice card. It's a um, good card to be able to keep something tapped down for blue, or you can pay four mana to tap it down as well. Um, so really good removal spell. Um, Deliberate's just a, a an instant speed preordain um, for two mana. Um, but yeah, I like Bubble Snare. Nice removal spell there. And um, we don't have that much removal, so nice to pick that up.
Ooh, Valka Awakening's a really nice card. Uh, we got any other kind of cards to consider? Molten Blast is an interesting one. So, deals two to a creature or planeswalker or destroys an artifact. There are quite a lot of um, equipments in this set. Um, so, destroying the artifact is probably as relevant as dealing two damage to a creature. Um, but I really like these um, these cards. Um, the flexibility of um, being able to throw away your hand and do that or play it as a land um, is just great So for me. So. I think I like doing this. Um, it's something, because it's an instant, we can return it with um, the Royal Mage as well. Um, what do we got here? We have Bay and Veil, or Veil, sorry. Um, Veal come damage to player, exile top card of your library, and you play that card this turn. That card seems fine. Uh, Glacial Grasp is fine. I don't think we need any more. Cunning Geyser Mage, we've already got two of those. I think I'm just going to take this. It's not a strong one, um, but I think having having these extra spell lands um, is going to be good um, in this kind of deck um, where we're just going to want to try and drag it the game as long as we can. I think is going to be is going to be beneficial for us. Um, Anti-cognition, um, counter creature or planeswalker unless its controller pays two. And if the opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard, counter it instead, and you get to scry two as well. So this card is very good. I um, think it's definitely the pick here. Um, the only other real pick is the Pack Beast. And we don't really need that, so I think just taking that, uh, that counter is going to be fine. Um, spell Shield... Gives a creature plus O plus three, or if you kick it for two mana, it gets hexproof as well. That seems fine. Um, I think this is time for a Skyclave Plunder, is it? What have we got? We're oh no, we're actually not that bad in terms of. Um, we do have um a, quite a few of these are lands as well though, so we'll get to play quite a low land count here. Um, I think I'm just going to pick the Living Tempest here. Just try and go with these flyers. Each player can't play more than one spell each turn. Non-basic center tapped. Um, enters the battlefield. Scry X, where X is the number of creatures in your party. Or we've got the Chilling Trap, which gives a creature minus four, minus four. And if you draw, control a wizard, you draw a card. Um, I think I like the Chilling Trap here. Um, this is kind of a replaceable creature. Um, as much as it is a wizard, like we have quite a lot of that already. Um, let's just go for the, the more unique effect. Um, and it also draws a card, so... Um, yeah, unfortunately, that's just not a playable card in Limited, but it's a great card. It's definitely going in my uh, Cosmic EDH deck, but um, yeah, we're not playing it here, unfortunately. Um, again, I think I'm just kind of in for taking these um, these spell lands, even if the spell isn't good. I still think it's worthwhile doing because it gives you that flexibility um, of being able to just kind of go, I can just play this spell for five mana. I have no intention of, like, I wouldn't usually put that spell in my deck, but being able to play a land that also has that ability is, or ha has the potential to be that spell um, is really powerful. So at the moment we have, what, we have, uh, I think it's four or five of those kind of cards. Um, so it's quite, quite quickly becoming something where we could probably just be playing, like, 12 lands, potentially. Um, was it one, two three, four, five. Yes, we've got five of those. We could be playing like 12 lands here um, and still have like a normal deck and a normal play, play style. Um, I think I like the squid. That just kind of gives us a little bit of resilience here. Um, obviously, we want to be slightly slower with the way our deck's set up. Uh, we'll take another geyser mage at that point. We have a wizard as our rare. Whenever you cast a kicked spell, draw a card, then discard a card. Whenever it enters the battlefield, look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a card with kicker from among them and put it in your hand, put the rest in the bottom in any order. That card is pretty much bang on what we want because we are heavily kicker. Um, and it's a wizard, so it works really well for us there. And there's actually not really anything else we would want to pick anyway, so that's a nice, nice pick up there. Cascade Seer, we have a Squid, 
Um, this Relic Axe was really interesting um, in the Warrior deck earlier. Obviously, we're not in that deck, but um, this one's interesting. Um, I think I'm just into this Cascade Seer now. This card's great. Four mana, or five mana, four, four flyer. Um, whenever you cast a kick spell, Scry 2. Um, just great. It's a wizard as well. Um, spot on what we're what we're looking for there. It's better than the, the Living Tempests. Um, yeah, probably looking for another another spell with Kicker if we can. Just to try and keep those numbers up. Uh, we get to play an Expedition Diviner here. So um, th four mana, three two flyer. That um, if you have a wizard, when it dies, you draw a card. Really interesting card. Uh, we've got a Geyser Mage or a Royal Mage. We'll take a Royal Mage. We've got enough of these guys. Chance that wheels as well. The other one wheeled in pack two. So at the moment, we remember we've got five. Five of these are flip cards. Um, so we can obviously play an additional couple of spells in the place of those. Um, because these are also lands, and there will be times when we just have to play them as lands. Um, some of them aren't great cards, like... Uh, buy and Veil is not a good card, or not a card that we're especially expecting um, to need to do, but the fact that it has that flexibility of both um, is what makes it makes it good here. Um, the only one that's probably um, worth it as a, an actual spell itself is is the Wizard um, and the Valka Awakening. Synchronized Spellcraft. Um, yep, kill a creature, perfect. I would kind of liked another one of these just so we had a little bit more flexibility again, but um, we don't actually have that much removal, so picking up another removal spell is great. We're gonna we're gonna lean on these rock slide sorcerers quite a lot here. We should basically get to play every single on color card we've picked, I think. Um, Cinderclasm, that's a good card. We get to. We can just deal one to every creature, or we can deal two to every creature, um, which is quite nice. Um, yeah, let's let's take that one. Uh, yeah, that's another another playable um, flip card, so we'll just take that. Look at the top six cards of your library. You may reveal an instant or sorcery from among them and put it in your hand. Um, Spitfire Legac. We'll take a Tormenting Voice, I think. We have a lot of these lands, um, so I think this this is this is going to be an interesting one as to where we can actually draw the line on how many lands and how many spells we play. Um, so this will be a good good test to see how it actually works out. Because I'm pretty sure we can just play these and just have extra spells in our deck that occasionally we'll be able to, to do that with the, the cost of having some tap lands. Um, but if that's the only real cost, then I think it's I think it's worth it. Finishing off the last couple of picks, and then we can build this deck, and we can play some games. See how, see how this kind of deck with all of these uh, these split cards will work. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I think we can play 
12 lands and probably get away with it. Because then it's like 18 means we can still play a couple of these as normal. Uh, I'm not wanting to play all of them, but it gives us the flexibility like some of these, like the Song Mad Treachery, probably not really wanting to play that, but the, the opportunity to be able to do that and potentially just uh, sneak lethal with it or something would be it would be what we're looking for here. Go with something like that. I feel like that's pretty reasonable. Let's see how this works. Like the, it might be that six is too many um, of the, the kind of bad tapped lands only. Um, but yeah, we can see how it goes. Well, I mean, if we get some lands, this hand's going to be pretty interesting, but... The 1-4 of Doom, 1-3 of Doom, sorry. I think I'm just holding. I want to be able to play out this Rock Slide Sorcerer before I kind of cast anything else, I think. Rock slide sorcerer in, hope it lives, and then we can uh, do some work. Definitely want to hold this now because it would be great to be able to exile this. Hopefully there's no uh, rabbit fight. That's awkward. It would have been nice to be able to hold up the chilling trap, but alas. I think I'm aiming to kill this, so... I mean, that wasn't, that didn't feel good, but I think it was necessary.
As long as it's equipped, it has haste. When it dies, it deals damage equal to its power. Sure. Here's a 3-2. I think we just need to do this. It's gonna end up happening at some point anyway. Get to cast our Salon Division here, hopefully find find something. And then can tormenting a voice away our land to try and find something else to do, so hopefully hopefully find some action from this. I'm just taking the gate. this card. Deals damage to the number equal to the number of creatures you control to target creature or planes over. Interesting card. That's been a red effect before, right? Without number. Yikes.
with this one. It's just a 4-3. Just a 4-3. I'm just supposed to play that now. Uh, don't do that to me. Well, that's a good pickup. Those two actually. So yeah, don't don't find the removal spell, please. Take a trade. Just need them to have no like no creatures. If a second second party member, then I'm I'm dead to that as well. Go to one, draw a card. So we get to draw the rock slide sorcerer. This one out, and then hopefully next turn can find a second wizard to be able to shoot this and kill it. How many eight cards in their graveyard? Perfect. Okay, we didn't quite get there with that one, but. I want to hold this for a turn. Kinda want to hold this for a turn. Oh no, it's plus one. Plus one. So let's do this. Shoot this. Throw away this island. Draw two. Miss. Because that's apparently how this is going. Um, I still have a tormenting voice, but if I use both my Tazim. Uh, Royal Mages, I have used both my Royal Mages, so I'm just gonna. I'll just put this out. 
really can't get lucky enough to actually kill this thing with two pings. frustrating kind of last couple of couple of draws there like knowing we still had hits in our deck but maybe like there's there's so many different options with how to play these these split cards that it's uh it's difficult to to do that so difficult to make sure you get everything right and certainly in that game like i feel like Probably a couple of decisions I could have made slightly differently. Um, we would have ended up with a different result there. So uh, This hand seems great though. source so we could cinderclasm and get rid of everything. We'd still really like to find a, a red source for the cinderclasm, but... I really just don't want to play any of this out. It's really frustrating. <laughs> really frustrating set of draws, that. It's like this just doesn't doesn't do anything. It's just a two one on an empty board. Vanquish the weak that I was feeling, so maybe they just murder this. Whenever another when we gain life. I think I'm holding this because it's another wizard. <clears throat> uh, landfall type of thing, sure. Yeah, we get to play this, we get to deal four to something, then we get two pings. So hopefully they just play something something small out here. I'm not blocking the, the ox this turn, I'll go to I'll go to six. Or I hope I go to six. I don't know what sequence of two two spells kills me from here, but I'm sure I'm about to find out. Counter on that. Okay. That's an interesting decision. let this happen. They gain two, I lose one. Start 
killing everything. Uh, they have six cards in the yard. Really not sure where to when to try and turn the corner here, but I'll quite happily trade off these two. I get to draw a card anyway, because I have a wizard, so hopefully draw me to a land. Still no land, but that's okay. back means that we'll get to kill multiple things next turn this draws a card pings for two this pings for two and it counters something We've got seven cards in the graveyard sure. yeah this kind of control deck with the two uh, the two rock slide sorcerers out is uh, definitely the, the way I want to play magic but difficult to set that get set that up and then play it correctly but Get to go into this, hopefully squid into royal mage and just kind of try and be try and be aggressive here. Hopefully find a land. Like we are playing 18 lands, so. So we missed. Gonna mill two lands, because that's how this works. Only the one, sure. source that I milled, it would have been perfect. It's just, I love variants. It's wonderful. Okay, so this one, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, lots of synergies. I don't know what the correct number of playing the kind of um, spell lands are, um, but obviously we were playing 18 lands and we screwed a couple of times. Um, there's definitely a few decisions we could have made differently. 
Um, but I really don't know what the right number is for this kind of deck, so it'll be interesting to see um, what people theorycraft with this kind of thing. Um, but yeah, let's move on to another draft and see if we can do any better.